Non più tra i farfaloni amoroso, notte giorno di torno girando, delle belle tornando al riposo. Hello and welcome back to part 2 of the Armati Trapacolo. And in the last part we have completed the hull and also planked it and prepared for painting. So in this part we will continue with the deck and also the paint job. How are we going to do this? That we will see in the following videos.
Well, a couple of words before I finish up this video. First thing is a builder's tip, and that's uh, about the uh, pieces inside of the bulwarks. They, are, uh, they have to be uh, in distance of 4 mm to the deck. So my advice is, uh, I'd make a, a copy from 5 mm plywood, that means 4 mm distance plus four, uh, 1 mm of plywood, and attach them uh, temporarily to the deck before attaching those prefabricated bulwarks. Because I ended up with a 2 mm distance on the stern, and that's not correct, because basically the bulwarks are 2 mm too low, so they have to come up 2 mm. Well, uh, I didn't know because I was only eyeballing the distance from uh, the plan, and that was wrong. So that's my advice. Other things are those rubbing stakes. Well, the kit has two pieces of 2 by 3 mm and four pieces of uh, walnut 2 by 4 mm, I believe. Well, I think that those four pieces 2 by 4 walnut are intended to make those rubbing streaks. But for me, in my taste, uh, first of all, they look too white and also they are too dark. So I ended up to use those two pieces 2 by 3 and get some 2 by 4 or 2 by 5, I'm not really sure, uh, from my own stash, which are the same uh, wood type and ended up with a much like the rubbing streaks, which in my opinion looks a little bit better than uh, the dark walnut. Well, but it's your choice. And the other thing is uh, the instructions also suggest to uh, paint those um, stanchions in uh, dark uh, in black. Uh, but then when I looked at it, I was not really sure. But after it, uh, I let it in the wood type, uh, in the natural uh, color, because they are pop out much more than if you paint those black. Well, that's my advice. We clearly can see that the kit uh, main attraction is the paint job. So I ended up with those fine uh, uh, lines instead of the uh, what is suggested in the box art, those curls or twists uh, which are in the bow and on the stern. So in my opinion, those fine lines are much easier to, to, uh, to adjust and get it symmetric left and right than those curls or twists or whatever it's called. So that's another advice. Well, as we all can see, uh, we made a new, huge step to the end of the project and what's coming up next are the deck furnitures. So up to then, stay tuned and see you there.